Sudanese Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamdok stressed that achieving comprehensive peace and stopping the war is the guarantor of the country's transition towards democracy. In the context of economic issues, Hamdok said in his addressing to Sudanese people on the occasion of the first anniversary for his assumption of the position of Prime Minister that the government is trying to handle the economic crisis through a reform program to remove the distortions caused by the previous ruling regime, affirmed that the government will continue direct aids to the families to help them to alleviate the side effects of the economic reform program. He described it as painful but necessary. Sudanese Prime Minister Dr. Abdul Hamdok stressed that the civilian government drew up the peace plan and negotiated with the armed movements despite the leadership of the negotiating teams by the military component of the transitional authority. In a radio talk show on Friday, Hamdok strongly denied the absence of the civilian government from the Juba mediated peace process. He said he is aware of all the steps that are taking place in the peace process, stressing he is present in everything. The Southern Mediation in Peace Negotiations in Juba decided to suspend the negotiations with the People's Movement North, Abdelaziz Al Hilu faction, until it meets the leadership of the movement. The chief mediator, Tuk Galwak, said in a press conference held in Pyramids Hotel in Juba that the negotiation between the Sudan government and the armed struggle movements in the other tracks will continue. Galwak pointed out that the mediation team will consult the leadership of the movement concerning the resumption of the negotiations, adding that the movement's delegation will remain in Juba. Deputy Chairman of the National Ummah Party, Dr. Ibrahim Al-Amin, has stressed the importance of addressing the lack of trust between the components of the transitional period, indicating that there are internal alliances within the forces of freedom and change, as well as the absence of the leadership and weakness of the national sense, indicating that partisan sense is dominant. At the Symposium on Future of Sudan and Challenges Facing the Transitional Period, hosted by the News Forum of Sudan News Agency, SUNA, on Saturday, Professor Al-Amin said that most of those who have been selected in the transitional period can fulfill their role, but some of them lack experience. Meanwhile, the expert in the field of local government and the professor at a number of universities, Professor Barakat Musul Hawati, has called for the management of all aspects of the diversity in a correct way attributing the conflict in the country to the monopoly of decision-making and lack of institutionalization. The permanent representative of Sudan mission to Geneva, Ambassador Ali bin Al-Talib, met on Friday, August the 21st, with the Director General of the World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO, Francis Gurry, as part of his meetings with the Directors General of International Organizations in Geneva. The permanent representative has conveyed Sudan's desire to enhance the existing cooperation between Sudan and the World International Property Organization in the fields of organizations' work and Sudan's active participation in the national institution associated with the organization's work. The meeting also discussed prospects for technical cooperation and capacity building in the fields of intellectual property and support to the Sudanese presence in the organization, appreciating the efforts exerted by WIPO. A cargo plane crashed Saturday morning after taking off from Juba International Airport in the capital of South Sudan State. In a press statement, the general director of Juba Airport, Kor Kual, said that a cargo plane belonging to the Southwest Airlines company crashed in the referendum quarter minutes after taking off from the airport, explaining that it was heading to Wau and Awil towns with a number of passengers on board. Kual indicated that a team of the airport rushed to the scene of the accident to get more details about the victims. The Ministry of Health announced the registration of 41 cases of coronavirus pandemic, zero fatality and 20 recovered cases. The epidemiological report of the ministry showed that the number of the cases distributed as follows, 38 cases in Khartoum state and three cases in Shimalia, while the rest of the states did not register any new case of infection. Reminding headlines. Hamdok stressed that achieving peace and stopping war is the guarantor of the country's transition towards democracy. Political leaders called to address the lack of confidence between the components of the transitional period. Cargo plane crashes after taking off from Juba, killing all its passengers. That was it from Shuruk TV. Thank you for following. See you tomorrow.